Hi, I'm Nancy from Cooking with Nancy's channel. I'm going to do a fried rice, which is a very, very simple dish of leftover uh, ingredients or um, something from a can and some fresh vegetables, which I've got. So first thing is I want to fry my egg, uh, make it into an omelette. I've heated up some oil in my wok. Uh, I have to <laughs> switch on a sauce, sorry. Now, I beat up my eggs with a fork. Very easy to make uh, an omelette. Just crack one egg or two in a little saucer and use a light little fork to beat it up. When you beat up this egg, you have to beat the eggs, not the plates, okay? Then a dash of pepper and into the pan. That's my egg. One of your some people seem to make a bit of noise so you can use a wooden one, but I prefer this. Around the wall to cook the omelette. Easy does it. Iron hand, I don't have iron hand anyway. <laughs> but I can stand certain amount of heat. When you know the omelette is cooked, it actually tells you you've got a good nose. You can even smell. You can smell your omelette. And also sometimes it comes away on the side. Right, it browns on the side and it comes away from the pan. Then you know it's cooked. Right. Okay, you can see it's not stuck to the pan at all. It just comes away. Ooh, you can smell. Mm. So I can just uh, break them up. Get the spatula. See, when it's not cooked, it will not come away. It's still stuck to the pan. When it's cooked, it will come away by itself. Right. So now, I will add in some uh, leftover premium leg ham, which you can cut with your pair of scissors, or just slice it up. Any way you like. Dice them up. All in a pan. Depending on what you like to eat. So all this is all being cooked, it will come away. Then, I will add in my zucchinis. I have zucchini here and I also have some uh, baby spinach, young corn, young baby corn and a tomato which I will add at the end. You can add some chop, 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 and just throw it in. If you're using any uh, canned fish, this one is a chili uh, mackerel fish with chili sauce. They're already all cooked, so all you have to do is add in later. I'm going to put in my rice now. I have some uh, red oil rice in my fridge. I always keep things in the, in the fridge until it's time to cook. Red oil rice I had last 
like yeah, I cooked it with some uh, turmeric also put some dal the orange dal if you find uh, it's a bit dry what I can do or you can do is you can sprinkle some water into it to stir fry. But I have some ready stock. I have some prawn, beautiful prawn stock. I just add it on the side. If you're wondering why. Just like right to stop. Yes, that's what I do. I've done a cooking demonstration for my children's school when they were young. And one Malaysian lady came and asked me, how come you put soup <laughs> in your fried rice? Here is everything is common sense. If everything is too dry, you sprinkle some water or you add stuff. Stop is not tasty. And lovely. Look, it makes your fried rice nice and moist. Right? And when the zucchinis are cooked, then you can add in the rest. I can add in my fish now. Mackerel in chili sauce. meal good for a lunch and you can go and do your shopping right uh, I will cut up my tomato in the meantime while waiting the tomato how to cut up the tomato right no I do not want that bit top bit, the end, and just throw that away, and the rest you can just chop. Why I do not want to cut this earlier, because as you know, they become watery. Zucchinis can be eaten in a raw salad as well. So I do not want to feed, to overcook the vegetables. Just a moment, it's cooked and it will be ready. I can add in my tomato and I can eat, add in the rest of what I've got here, which is uh, young spinach and also shallots which I've chopped and some young corn, maybe corn. So it's a very simple fried rice. In fact, this is enough. But since I have more ingredients, I dump in everything for a more nourishing uh, meal. Just stir in all the tomatoes. It gives a nice sweet and sour flavor. And I add in some leftover chili and Sauce. If you think it's not spicy enough, then you can put a dash of pepper. I'm going to give it a one good taste in a minute. You can put your heat to medium to dry the rice a little bit further. And that's about all. You can see the 
vegetables are cooked almost. Right, let me taste. Let me taste it with a teaspoon. Mmm! Oh, very nice. So, it's ready. I don't need a dash of pepper. For those who like it nice and hot, why not? That's it. So I'm going to serve now on my plate and have a nice lunch. Switch off. Very healthy rice. All the fish on top. Do not overcrowd your plate. That should be enough. And you just uh, wipe all the uh, all the little bits there with your kitchen towel, and you can serve. Bon appétit. Thank you. Please share.